Hello and welcome to your new Blender Let's Build tutorial. Today we'll look again at the auxiliary maps and how to create the outer edges. Well, it is a little bit more complicated than the other ones, but I think we can just do it fine. So the first thing we start off is a geometry node. And there we just use Again, a bevel node, and we just put it to 6 and then 0 0.04, and then we use the pointiness, uh, not pointiness, sorry, vector, vector math, and there we go to a dot product. Don't get confused that you have seen it before, but what I'm doing with it is a different different way. So we see it and of course we need a range map node, map range node to correct myself and then we use a value of 0.75 and um, a maximum value of yeah, let's say 0.89 and then we just turn it around 2 and 0. So there we have it. And what we do now is a different is a different approach. First, I just like to organize things, so I just align these nodes. So, and now comes the interesting part: is because we need the outer edges and not the inner edges. So, in this method, as I explained it in the last tutorial, you can see that both of them are selected. And I just want to have the outer edges. So how to do it? Well, it's quite simple actually, because you just need to have an ambient occlusion, which you subtract from the nodes that you have here. So we use an ambient occlusion and um, give it a value of 0 0.04. And then we, of course, we use also a map range node. And we connect it. And then we use simpler, similar values like we have here. 7, 5. This we can leave at 1, and then 1 and 0. And as you can see, there we have the inner selected, and there we have the outer selected. So what are we going to do is we just support subtract one value from the other as I as I've told you and this we can just do with a simple math node and we just go to subtract and and there you have it and then of course you can use the clamp node but then it will be ineffective so we just leave it off so and there we have the outer edges selected as you can see we have the outer and inner there we have just the inner and we just subtract one of these and so we have the outer edges. This is a really nice method to get just the outer edges. And if you want to to make things perfect, what you can do is you can just put in a value node. To, and you just go to a type on 0 0.4, the same values like you have here and here. And we just connect both of these so that you just have to type in one, one value. Because if you don't, I can show you what happens. If you don't and you have maybe a value of 0 0.02, you see in that case it works, okay? But the opposite, if you have 0 0.08 or something like that, you see like it's it's bleeding through. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that well. So it's good to have the same values for both of it. And this is a value of 0 0.04. That's perfect, I think. So um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If there's anything else or if you have a different method, how you are going to do it, just let me know. And uh, yeah. See you in the next time. The next time we're going to talk about how to create a thickness map. So stay tuned and God bless you.